The three suspects are accused of running the operation over a three-year period between January 2013 and December of 2015. During that time, investigators say that Mosby, Jones, and Perry recruited the women through their company called Pink Pleasure Entertainment and coerced them into performing sex acts on customers for money. According to one of the indictments, in many cases, the victims were removed from their homes, transported to Maryland, and were threatened, beaten, and forced to live under the suspect's control. One of the defendants solicited them, engaged in sexual relationships with them, and then uh, told them that they were indebted to him and that they had to, uh, had to engage in sex for pay in order to pay off their debts. Attorney General Brian Frosch said that the prostitution took place at hotels and motels throughout Maryland, including a Days Inn and Ramada Inn in Baltimore and a Howard Johnson in Pikesville. The indictment mentions four victims, including two teenagers, but investigators say they dealt with dozens of others in the process of the investigation. What we find is that these cases are involving more and more young people. They are very uh, disruptive and they have um, really preyed on young people who are disconnected from their families. Rashid Mosby and Tara Perry are in police custody facing a lengthy list of charges. Police are still looking for Joshua Jones. Well, the investigation included multiple jurisdictions and the suspects are accused of placing hundreds of ads for possible victims. Joshua Jones, the suspect still at large, is 26 years old from Greenbelt. Reporting live in the studio tonight, Kyrie, WBAL, TV 11 News.